from a, a user experience, because these are such big ticket items, this lends itself to a live chat interface. The biggest thing that killed them is they opened up a physical location and then when everything fell off after COVID, they just went bankrupt essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, the, it's not surprising that, that people aren't converting just because the desks are so custom. And I think that people end up building out their perfect desk, their dream desk. They, they put all the things that they want on it and they go to the cart and it's $6,000 and they abandoned essentially, or they leave and they go think yeah. about it and they come back later. Now, um, I had a look at Do this is what not a consumer friendly price point at all. It's not. And also their, their user experience. I went through the website yesterday and I went, okay, well, cause I've been looking at like, uh, mechanical desks and all sorts of stuff. And I've gone to a couple of sites where you pick and choose, you know, bits and pieces. And I went through their site and I went, oh, I don't like this. I, I instantly did not like the experience of building my um, uh, build, building my, my desk. Um, but still the fact remains that their conversion rate, and see, this is weird too. I looked at from June, from October last year to, to today, and um, obviously we have taken over the we, we, we've got a new purchase conversion set up yeah mm -hmm. these ga4 conversion actions have completely dropped off so get phase in to get them working again so at least we can see the add to cart conversions because they're not firing at the moment by the way uh, Faison, Faison did join the call is on right now oh cool i'll, I'll get shadab just get shadab to get these ga4s back operational again mm -hmm. um now, they've got a physical location as well, haven't they? So they've got off the street um, foot traffic? Um, yes, but it's not really functional right now. Like they, okay. they can take people if they call to make an appointment, but it's not something they're trying to drive. Okay, fair it's enough. But we don't have to worry about these directions and calls and stuff like that. We no. They have got phone call tracking set up. Is that something... See, on such a big price point, that could come into play. That could be quite quite important. Um, so they haven't they haven't got CTM. No, they have. So there's yeah, phone yeah, yeah. tracking set up. Obviously, you've got that set up. And just looking right. at the last thirty days, there's only been one conversion recorded from a call. Now, yeah. from a um, from a, a user experience, because these are such big ticket items this lends itself to a live chat interface having a live chat on there so you can see um you can see this the traffic right so someone comes on have you ever used like a like live chat before so yeah, I've, yes. live chat .com, I've got access to live chat.com it's great you can sit there people come and goes Doo -doo. Up, up comes the thing you know where they where they've come from how they've found you what they're looking at, and you can have all these automations popping up saying after 30 seconds, create a like create an interaction. Or you can do it manually. So if you can see them doing something, you can in initiate the inter interaction and say, hey, I see you're looking at this desk, or I see you, you're here, and they might be on the site for 30 seconds, they might be bouncing. You can initiate a conversation, say, can I help you with anything? that lend this this product this page or this product lends itself to to some interactivity like that uh, even if they get a va just sitting there and have the va try and initiate the contact and say hey would you like a member of our team to give you a call and help you with um some options or answer some of your questions or queries because so, well, are, sorry just a just a quick question to clarify are you saying that they need a chat bot on their site or it should be like live live, live chat like a real person not a not a bot uh, not a not a sure. ai bot like a live chat someone that sits there it's a right. va at you know three dollars an hour because they only need one or two you know two or three of those leads a day um they're getting traffic but 
oh my god these cpcs are crazy too they're ridiculous ten dollar yeah. clicks for a table i got ideas all right what were your ideas summit and then this is just before we go to that they're so expensive because we were we refined them so much because I don't know if it's Google's algorithm, but as soon as you get in the standing desk market and you go broad at all, like it's gonna pull in just like so much irrelevant traffic. Um, like even on the the work while walking ad group, like that work while walking on exact match was pulling in like treadmill desks and best standing desks and things like it just it just you have to be really refined. And that's why the CPCs are so high. Yeah, that's crazy. Ten dollar clicks for a desk. Take it away, Usama. I was gonna say, um, there's a lot of people that are actually getting to the add to cart checkout phase of things here. Over here. Hold on. Whoops. So the average conversion rate doesn't throw me off because the average conversion rate for a high ticket item stores are usually spot zero point five percent to one percent in my experience. Even when I was running them, I was running off like a 0.6% one. So that part doesn't throw me off that much. What they could do to actually get this number up and make the best use of some of their stuff is they have all these people. These are people that will subscribe and not only subscribe, but left you a phone number. Mm. Yeah. I would start calling these people up. And not only that, Daniel, have they got, mm -hmm. uh, have they got a Clavio campaign set up? The reason being is this product, because they've got so many banning cuts, abandoned browse campaigns. So if someone comes to the site, they might be sitting there, even if they haven't added a cart, having an abandoned browse through using Clavio and get them into campaigns. So see if they're mm -hmm. open to that sort of stuff and engage and they do have Cla they do have Clavio. Um, yeah, in the onboarding process, I did float to them that um, Dan could look at. We could look at partnering with Dan to optimize it okay. if they need help with that. And he was interested in it, but he just said, you know, kind of kick the can down ro the road a little bit. But um, going back to the calls, and then we'll get into Clavio too, because um, definitely I would start calling these people up. It's the easiest yeah. way for them to convert. It usually when people want to spend thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars, you can get them to convert over the phone after a conversation right there and then um yeah. you can even make them an offer be like i'm calling you right now you you make this purchase right now i'll give you 150 dollars off mm -hmm. right you yeah. just buy them on call and it's only for this call and then you send them a, like a draft order immediately because that's what i used to do are you running have we got shopping in here no there isn't and then um they don't have any ready to ship desks that's why we can't do shopping their desks are all completely customized um so yeah we don't have anything in gmc for that what we're running is a feed only pmax for accessory products um and then what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to get a ready to ship pre-built desks a desk that we can add into a shopping campaign uh, something that you just get someone through the door so you, you get someone through that like that initial click and then when someone's looking for something bespoke or custom, then they can go into those custom builds. It, this account has been here for years. Mm -hmm. um, they, they're a really high-end luxury Persian uh, rug store so, uh, well. based in yeah, uh, the Silicon Valley. So good location, but... Uh, the, their store is located somewhat in a corner, so people aren't really like they don't really go there. Uh, 